Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Atomos. You can get the blueprint for the Atomos from the market, and it's definitely on the cheaper side of things, with the exception of the two Argon Crystals, which you will have to get in the Void. The Atomos is a Mastery Rank 5 Secondary Beam Pistol that has mediocre crit stats, pretty decent status stats, and it does pure heat damage. But that's not all, because the Atomos beam can chain up to 3 times. Now the way this works is the main beam has a limited range of 15 meters, and then once it hits the first target, it can chain to an enemy that's up to 7 meters away, and then chain again for the second time, and once more for the last time. This is actually really good, because even though the base range of the weapon isn't all that high, it can actually reach enemies that are pretty far away since it chains from one enemy to another. Though if you still feel like the range on the weapon is too low, you can extend it by adding ruinous extension, though this will only increase the range on the base beam and not the beam that chains between enemies. When it comes to the build on the Atomos, I think your best bet is gonna be a straight up hybrid setup with primed crit mods if you have them to help that somewhat mediocre crit chance and then three dual stat mods which most of the time are gonna be combined into corrosive and then heat. This gives the weapon insane armor stripping capabilities, though if you're gonna fight corpus a lot, it's generally better to go with gas where you go with pistol pestilence, scorch and pathogen rounds because as the beam chains, it will create multiple overlapping gas clouds which does a lot of damage. It's also good for low level infested where the gas setup is gonna have far better clear. Now the damage on this setup is actually surprisingly good, especially since you're stripping armor like crazy on multiple enemies at the same time, and when you combine that with the crit which isn't great but it's not too terrible either, Either, you actually get some serious DPS. But don't expect the Atomos to scale endlessly, because as soon as the enemies get a little bit too beefy for your damage, you hit a brick wall in the form of running out of ammo, which is the biggest problem with this weapon. Its ammo economy is not great, because unlike many other beam weapons that drain ammo pretty slowly, the Atomos choose to it really fast. So if you want to do anything that's beyond star chart level, I would highly recommend you run some form of ammo mutation on the Atomos, whether it is just normal ammo mutation in the Exilus or just running carrier. And just one nitpick here, I also don't like how your Warframe holds the Atomos, because especially when you're aiming down sights, the Atomos is really in the way, because it's covering a portion of your crosshair. But aside from the nitpick and the ammo issue, which can be solved almost entirely by simply polarizing the exile slot and running ammo mutation or even primed ammo mutation if you really like this weapon, the Atomos is fantastic and I would absolutely recommend you pick it up, especially if you're a low level player, because this is an amazing farming weapon. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're a higher mastery rank player, because you can just get the Kuva new core, but for lower mastery rank players, this thing is just a must have weapon. And that is pretty much it, so I think. Thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful and I will see you some other time. Bye bye.